Hello everyone, I hope you're doing great. Now today we are continuing with our nuclear reaction examples. Today our focus is on beta decay. To see other types of nuclear reaction examples, you may look at the end screen at the end of this lesson, or you may scroll through the radioactive slash nuclear reaction playlist. Now, a beta particle is a high energy, high speed electron. It has no mass. So therefore, there's no proton or neutron. Point to note is that a beta particle has a negative charge. Our first two examples will be on the emission of beta particle. The first question reads, which element is formed when radon-222 disintegrate by emitting a beta particle? Radon has a proton number of 86. It gives off a beta particle, so it, uh, it will be a product. Now to determine the new element that is formed, what you're going to do is to minus zero from 222. Naturally, there is no change in mass. So the new mass is 222, just as before. Now, to determine the proton number, we're going to minus negative one from 86. So 86 minus negative one gives us 87. If you look through the periodic table, you realize that 87 is the proton number for francium. So our answer is francium-222. Now for our next example, the question reads, which element when emits a beta particle produces carbon-14 and astatine-212? Now remember, based on the question, these are products. So therefore, we're going to represent our beta particle, our carbon-14, with a proton number of 6, our astatine with a proton number of 85, to determine the element that was broken down, what you're going to do here is to add all the masses on the product side. So therefore, 0 plus 14 plus 212 gives us 226. When we're going to do the similar thing with the proton numbers. And so therefore, negative 1 plus 6 plus 85 gives us 90. If you look through your periodic table, you realize that 90 represents thorium. Therefore, the answer is thorium-226. For our final example, we're looking at the absorption of beta particle. The question reads, which element is formed when casium-134 absorbs a beta particle? Again, this, uh, this is an absorption example, so therefore we're going to represent our casium with a proton number of 55, we're absorbing the beta particle, so we're going to add it to casium. And now our product, we're going to determine that by adding the masses first. Again, 0 plus 134, there is no change in mass. However, negative 1 plus 55, what we get here is 54. If you look through your periodic table, you're going to realize that 54 is a proton number for xenon. Therefore, our answer is xenon-134. So I hope these examples kind of really enhance and amplify your understanding. And so at this time, I want to thank you for watching this lesson. And please remember, whether you lose or gain, just be happy. Have a blessed and wonderful day. Talk to you soon.